My heart always leaps whenever I hear the start of a paton. I am flooded by memories of feasts, reunions, and simple get-togethers. They often say you would know where an important event is wherever in the Cordillera. Just follow the smoke. And when you are near, you can hear the gangsa. The gangsa is one thing that unites the Cordillera. Wherever you play it, you play it paton style. Where the gong is held on the left and beaten with a padded stick, or the tapaya where the gong is held on the lap and slapped with a hand. You would know that you are held by the sway and rhythm of the Cordillera. I have learned to play the gangsa by following my elders, and I found that you have to sync with your neighbor and yet follow your own counterpoint. It can be very easy and very hard. It was at that time when my father told me about the autonomy gong. It was a gong specially made by the Regional Development Council for the 25th year anniversary of the Cordillera Autonomy Initiative in 2012. It was a bigger than usual gangsa and it was so heavy that it had to have its own wooden yoke and a large padded stick to beat it. The idea was that it was to go around the provinces of the Cordillera to drum up support for autonomy. I was so glad to be invited to join the tour. First stop was Mount Data in Bauco Mountain Province. It was a fitting start indeed, for it was here 25 years ago when the late guerrilla priest Conrado Balwig held a sipat with then President Corazon Aquino. We just had the EDSA revolution and the excitement for freedom has reached the mountains. People wanted peace and autonomy. The Marcos fascist dictatorship unleashed all the mighty machineries of the fascist state, especially its military then, to suppress, if not to eradicate, our indigenous liberty. Like our ancestors, we successfully defended our birthright and tradition. Authority must address the full spectrum of the political, social, and economic aspirations of the constituent communities. 25 years later, and the search for autonomy still continues. It was no longer the NPA and the CPLA that are the menace to our society. It is poverty. And autonomy is now seen as a way to help the Cordillerans bang the drum against poverty. From Mountain Province, the gong traveled to Abra. And then the Abrenians accompanied the autonomy gong to Benguet. From Benguet, the gong traveled to Ifugao and on June 18th, just in time for the week-long gotad ad Ifugao. The Cordilleran representatives in the past Congress were able to craft House Bill 5595 in December 2011 for another version of the Autonomy Organic Act. Although the bill run out of time, there is widespread hope that in this Congress, Cordillera autonomy will finally be passed. We'll vote yes for autonomy. This came back to me when the autonomy gong reached Kalinga during the Matagoan festival on June 23. Matagoan means zone of peace, and it was established then in Kalinga to foster peace and development in the province. And then the gong reached Apayao. The Apayao people were so enthusiastic about the Salubungan that people had to be driven away or else Magapit Bridge would collapse. There was even an isnag ritual called Mahanito to bless the gong. The enthusiasm for autonomy was on a high even then. And at last, the gong has reached Baguio City on the rainy day of July 15th.
It was a fitting day that the journey would end on Cordillera Day, when all the leaders were there to welcome it. Today we gather in celebration as one region and people of And God. even among the youth like me, there was an increased awareness for autonomy. Lessons on Cordillera history and quest for autonomy had been integrated in school curricula. There were contests on declamations and essay writing. The autonomy gong remains in its home at the RDC Hall and Botanical. It is quiet now, but that is not what the gong is. Let us beat the gong and dance to the rhythm of Cordillera autonomy.